What's up YouTube artists and aspiring artists? It's Mike here with Aerosol Custom Spray Paint Art. We're back at it again, checking out your artwork over on the R Aerosol subreddit. If you guys wanna be featured in a video like this, head on over, share your artwork, and you're sure to pop up in one of these future videos. Thank you so much for those of you who have gone over to Patreon and pledged some support to the channel. It goes a long way in making sure we have spray paint art to play with poster board, all those other goodies, and make sure we can make this channel uh, continue to grow and get better. So big, big shout out to Canvas Spray Art for your $25 pledge to the channel. Make sure to head on over and check out Canvas Spray Art's work. There's gonna be a link in the description below to the YouTube channel. Let's see what we can do to show some love back to Canvas and get some subs his way. Also big shout out to Jax. Your continued support means the world and thanks so much for being along this journey. If you guys are interested in showing some love to the Aristotle spray paint channel, pop on over to the Patreon link. It's as cheap as five bucks and it goes a long way to helping. So without further ado, we're gonna hop straight in. We have a lot of different art to check out today. Last week I issued a challenge. I wanted to see your spray paint art set up. Many of you have submitted, so we'll check some of those out today. But before we dig in, I have another challenge for you guys. It could be something new, it could be something you've already created, but this week's challenge is all about rainbows. Here's one of my recent paintings. As you can see, we have some rainbow planets and a bit of a rainbow galaxy. So this week's challenge, submit it in the Reddit. I wanna see your rainbow works of spray paint art. Let's jump straight in to the subreddit. First up, we have Fenn's workspace. This is kind of one of two, apparently, of his art workshops. I know there's some airbrushing going on here. I know there's some spray paint art. Looks cool, looks organized. Thanks for sharing, Fenn. Bacon is gonna come in here with the blood moon. Little bit of stars over top of the planets. Maybe this is a massive planet that's just really far away. Love the color, like the backlighting on the planet. Law Sheep is gonna have a pyramid submission. This painting sounds like it was created for someone who lost a beloved pet. Uh, very nice gift to give them. Hopefully that you know brightened their day up a little bit. That is a very hard thing to go through. Here's another workspace. This is gonna be Conceal's kind of mid-reno workshop. You've come up with some pretty amazing stuff in the time that you stopped your reno. It's cool to see what you're working with. Hopefully this all comes together as far as your renovation project goes and make sure you map out somewhere where you can do some spray paint art. Finesse Rice, my man Riley coming in with a really stellar red planet, red galaxy, uh, crediting sketch art for the inspiration. Really, really nice stuff, Riley. Thanks so much for sharing and I'm a big fan of this one. Trailblade coming in, made a painting for a friend who wanted to support their artistic side. We have a panda and a nice peaceful scene. Definitely cool when you start doing art, start sharing it with the world and your friends come out of the woodwork, you know, give you those words of praise. Oftentimes they want a painting too. And that's often how a lot of us kick off into starting to sell our art, be confident enough for that. Very cool. I'm sure your friend loves this painting. Multi-layer stencil, good job. Trailblade, one of their first tries at a pyramid scheme. This is pretty killer. I like the planet in the background. Uh, I like that it's kind of shaded with blue into this blue sky. Pyramids are looking decent. We gotta work on the shading a little bit with, with those. You that one cross point there where it oversects a little bit. Um, but especially at one of the first attempts at some pyramids, it's looking very nice. Before we go any further, make sure to spray that like button right now. Spray it. Do it. Hit that like button, guys. Talk to you. You hear me, but you're not doing it. What gives? Law Sheep with a very nice kind of forest scene. I like the depth of field on these trees, some subtle looking clouds, and that imposing sun coming out of the background over top of some red sky. I'm digging it. You might need to let the paint dry slightly before you toss those stars on, but uh, you know, solid piece. Janice with a lovely waterfall scene. I love that foliage, very unique. You got some uh, waterfalls coming out of those vents. Really serene, really serene piece for your spa area. Thanks so much for sharing. I hope to see more of your art in the future. Keelan's coming in with a few submissions this week. This one is the Mazda, the mighty Miata, a driver's enthusiast kind of dream car. Many of us have owned these cars. I have not, but I do dig the Mazda Miata. 
wondering a little bit why their paint is crackling. You're either mixing different types of paint or maybe you're mixing gloss and matte or semi-gloss, something of that nature. Uh, make sure you're sticking to the same brands ideally and make sure you let stuff dry. Cool design. Happy Paint Paul is showcasing a painting that was inspired by a different YouTube spray paint artist. Not cool. I'm just kidding, I love this. Very vibrant, very well executed. Might go on a limb and say sketch art, I'm not 100% sure, uh, but your execution is killer. Really subtle use of kind of lighting and shading to get that depth of field look on the window and that ledge. Killer job. Conceal with a maybe Martian city with some you know protective domes over top. It's a very classic spray paint art style and technique, and I think you've done it justice here like the monochromatic color scheme and like the vibe this one gives off. Thank you, Conceal. Maybe you're still painting, maybe the reno's off. Shambliss with a painting they're super proud of. I'm proud of you too. This one's really nice. I love that planet. I like, can kind of see what you did to get the texturization there. I like your water, bit of a reflection of that planet and lots of movement. Killer stuff, I'd love to see more of your work moving forward. Shambliss with a cityscape scene. They want some feedback on how it turned out. Friend, friend of theirs wanted a dark kind of cityscape painting. Uh, I like it. I think your technique's pretty spot on. To be honest with you guys, I don't mess with cities all that often. I'm not the biggest authority with that style. I did a previous tutorial where I did showcase uh, a way that you can create some cities. And to be honest with you, in that tutorial was one of my first times ever trying. I've dabbled a little bit here and there since then. Uh, I think you're spot on, pretty much as good as me. Really killer. Uh, there is one or two examples of some awesome cityscapes in today's video, so stay tuned to those. Uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to Ben and someone else on those. We'll get to those right away here. If you guys haven't checked it out, here is my most recent cityscape. This is from a recent new NYC spray paint skyline video that I did. The link's gonna be popping up on a card just above the video if you're on computer and down in the link below if you're on mobile. Do me a favor, pop on over, see how this one came to life and drop a like on that video. It helps the algorithm, helps the channel, and it helps your boy, me. Popping up next, another workspace. This one, you know, is a little bit more true to my heart. It's disorganized, it's chaotic, and it means that lots of good action takes place here. Uh, this is actually from Keith Davies, so now I get to see where you create these beautiful works of art. Your favorite painting yet is coming up in this video, so stay tuned. Very proud, Keith. You guys are all cute, because a lot of you let me know, like, this is my seventh painting, this is my 10th painting. I love how much you're keeping track and, and really tracking your, tracking your progress. Gray Bishop submits this one. Let's take a look at the full image. Ooh, very cool stuff. I wish I was this far along on my seventh painting. I wish I had a total count. I don't know what I'm at, guys. I don't know, I would guess well over 500 paintings at this point, but that's just throwing it out there. So maybe even more. Keep motoring, guys, you're gonna get better Almost every painting, sometimes you'll mess up and take a step backwards. That's totally okay. Uh, it's not about necessary continual improvement. It's just about learning a lesson or two every time you paint and bringing that forward into your next artwork. Next up is my boy Jax. Big shout out to Jax for being a patron and keeping this channel above water. Uh, like the setup, I think you're set up in an attic. You got some other stuff going on and you found a little nook for the spray paint to happen. This little oscillating saw thing is pretty cool. Uh, he submitted a video of how it works and I think it's something that definitely would help most of us. Uh, so I'm probably gonna pick one up. I might have to go buy a saw to make it work, but we'll see. Uh, thanks so much for sharing, Jax. I'm loving this blue scene you got going on here. Oh, there it is. There it is bigger. Question Jax is asking is having, you know, the paint build up underneath the rocks and having it not be too thick. My best recommendation, if you're painting all of like this area, let's say, don't add color if you know you're gonna put some rocks down below. You can just paint about two thirds of the scene up here, leaving all of this stark white and gives you the opportunity when it is time to put some rocks, you can lay down your base color if you want them a bit colorful uh, and you can go ahead and work with not much paint 
on the poster board here. I will say it's not super noticeable. The only you know small item is gonna be the highlights over top of the areas where there's more just fog and not actual rocks. And I wanna teach you guys some info about you know the palette knife and highlighting works. We're gonna get into that in a future video. In the meantime, just keep playing around with it. This is a really cool color scheme. Uh, and, and we now know how to not build up that paint at the bottom of the page. Great job, Jack. Nibs with a nice little selection here. Pre with some pretty cool, unique, dope planets. Uh, definitely a bit of a departure from a typical look, a typical painting. I'm digging this. My new mantra is trying to do different, you know, more weird, unique stuff, not just kind of standard space on black scenes. Uh, so this is right up my wheelhouse. That bottom one is killer. If you did whatever you did to create that with an eyeball, uh, you'll have it going on for sure. That definitely looks like an iris. Is that what we call it? The colored part? Here's the most recent tutorial I tossed out there just the other day. If you guys want to learn how to create that one too, pop on over. Check out the video. The link's probably floating somewhere around here or down below in the description. Thanks so much for all your submissions this week. We're motoring on. We're not even like halfway done. There's a ton of art this week and I'm like a little late with this video. So if it's long, Stick around to the end. Your art might be in here. Don't abandon me yet because I'm doing this for you guys and I love checking out the artwork. Nibs tossing in another art, sun, wait, earth, sun, sun, earth, moon. It's right there in the title. Really cool earth. I like it a lot. It looks like something real exists down there. It doesn't look like the made up versions I create of earth. Uh, digging the sun and the moon. I think they're closer together than they probably would be, but I don't think you have a page that big to paint on. So fair move. Nibs with a art collection and their workspace. A lot of you guys look like you're like painting in your basements or something. Maybe this is a garage space. I I'm curious, let me know down in the comments. How do you set up so the fumes don't go everywhere? Make sure you guys are being safe. Make sure you're wearing a respirator, uh, but killer setup and looks like you have a nice little nook to make these awesome creations. Pre with alien heaven while I'm in heaven looking at it. A lot of you guys are getting really, really good with these color contrasts and it really makes your eye just kind of like sing when you look at it. I uh, love the reflection of these buildings. Maybe that's a second layer of buildings. Killer clouds and I like that pink backlighting. I think that pink backlighting is the key element here that really makes it pop. And you got some crazy paints. You're mixing brands of paint or something. More power to you, I hope it's working out. Free with the next big stencil project coming our way. I really want to know how you're going to get a stencil out of this. Everyone's got a method to their madness. It looks like you've drawn this out, so kudos to you. You're not like me and somebody else on the channel this week that's just printing out some images and using those for stencils, so killer job. Fen laying down the base for some killer buildings. Uh, I don't know, modern art, man. You could just leave this like this. Just make sure the price tag is super high. Like start at like 4,600 bucks or local Irish currency, and uh, I, I think it would sell. It looks very pretty. Nibs with some more stuff. Don't even have to look at the name. I know this is Keith all day long. Keith, your style, man. I love it. I can definitely identify which ones are yours. I like the subtle subtleness here of how those clouds blend into the sun. I think you got a little bit of overspray, maybe a dirty cap. We'll give a shout out. No, I won't. Shout out to you, Keith, no one else. Fen's got dirty hands, uh, it's gonna happen. You should wear gloves. It's your fault, it's your fault this happened. Ooh, some more cities. So it looks like quite a few people took a crack at cities uh, this week. This is Fen's go at cities, either too much manipulation, not enough, kind of started to get there at the bottom. Next time I think it can do better. You know, I feel that way every time I try cities. I think the key is finding that perfect balance of the paint drying uh, without having to add a ton of clear coat and you can't have too, too much paint because uh, it just starts to get goopy and you know build up and start to streak. I think your results killer. I like that your close ones are brighter and your back buildings you know are darker. I don't know it works. So good job on this. Nib's got a planet in a planet. I love it. Just shade that front planet because I think it's uh, if the light's affecting that rear planet that much, you need just a tinge of shading just to give that element that it's a 3D object. But uh, yeah, really nice job. I like this one. Not so. I'm going to call you not so. Hopefully that is how you spell your name. Uh, fourth painting. 
After watching the Arrow tutorial videos, thanks so much for the kind words about the channel. I hope you're subscribed. Also, make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you can be part of the premiere when this video goes live. I'm in there chatting with you guys, answering questions, and uh, having a good time. So hit that notification bell so you're in touch with when these premieres go out. Especially these videos, we can talk as your art's being showcased. Really impressed with the work you did. I like the, uh, the snowy, rocky texture, and I want you to, I want you to submit more. Please, keep up with the progress. Conceal, another one I can tell by your mountains. That's you. Uh, love your style, love your work in of color here and, uh, and the vibes you're going for. You're definitely dialing in those Rocky Mountains. Uh, totally killer, lots of good foreground work. And uh, yeah, approved, approved. Law Sheep submitting a black and white uh, moon scene with a brilliant sunburst. Some nice borderings on here on a full sheet of art skills, 28 by 24, liar. It's 28 by 22. It looks great. Uh, I will say this, the bigger you paint, the more freedom you have. The details are easier. Uh, there's less noticeable overspray. It can be really good to try going bigger if you guys are used to painting on smaller stuff. I limit myself to usually a half sheet. And that's simply because uh, that's what fits in my camera's like field of view. If I go bigger, it starts to get really weird and you can see the paint and stuff go by. If you're not filming the videos, go bigger. It will make your life so much easier. And uh, Law Sheep has proven it. Conceal with a Hulk painting. Damn, this is good. Uh, really, really, really good. Love the landscape scene. We could talk about that for a long time, but this Hulk stencil is pretty killer. It's not black and gray. Uh, there's elements of shading, like even the dark parts of this uh, beast's abs. You have some like almost green in there. Maybe that's accidental overspray. The pink pants, uh, awesome stuff. Really good job, really awesome use of a stencil, mixing it into a landscape scene. And uh, yeah, this dude is, is greening out because I don't know, that's, that's not gonna make the video. Cut that. Slap head bog back at it again this week with an iron man submission uh he notes that he went in did the iron man stencil and just looked like superimposed i know exactly what you mean it's just like very contrasty on top of the clouds so you went in with a few more layers to make it subtle and softer and i love the result i bet your son loves it and i bet your son loves that you can create these things kind of on a whim and uh thanks so much for sharing slaphead as always make sure you get this puppy in a frame Shambliss submitting another painting and noting that uh, you want to get away from doing the same old thing. I think you've done just that with this painting. A really cool kind of sunset seascape. Not your typical mountains, planets, etc. So keep mixing it up and I encourage you guys to try doing some different stuff too. So you don't get burned out on the art form. Space is great and carried me for years. But after a while it does start to feel like you're doing the same thing. So mix it up. Maybe even add in some other elements into your typical works and this contrast of sunset and ocean works really really nicely so props to you on another nice painting slap head bog that was quick way to frame this thing so fast killer job all right guys we're gonna speed things up a little bit to motor through these uh keylan with another car design where's the wheels bro looks awesome i'm sure that was intentional i think we have a car enthusiast on our hands Nice setup from uh, Pre showing the turntable they made. Uh, definitely cool if you're handy like Pre. If not, just go to like a thrift store and get a lazy Susan. It's just meant for inside your cabinets and it spins around. It's gonna spin your paintings around. Fen with a little kind of POV action. Ooh, it kind of came out uh, sounding funny. Fen with a little POV view of his painting creations. Uh, check out that video on the subreddit. Conceal's second ever spray paint art piece. You definitely see the progression as you've come along. Thanks for sharing some of your early work. Pre with their spray paint nook. Again, disorganized. I'm right there with you. Uh, maybe it's organized chaos. Looks like you got some film down so you're not overspraying onto your walls. Thanks for sharing. Fen with another sick one. Conceal absolutely killer buildings. Those are buildings of the week, hands down. Uh, digging the contrast, nice clean work on this one. Thanks for sharing, I think from Sweden. It's crazy, I think you guys are from all over the place. I'm from Canada, 
I know, uh, I think, Fen, you're from Ireland. I think Sweden. Let me know where you guys are from. Where are you tuning in and sharing from? Uh, we're becoming a global community pretty quick. Fen is procrastinating some work at the house uh, and painting. That's that's perfect. That's what you should do. Cool effect going with white instead of black for a silhouette. I'd recommend backlighting, meaning some misty spray, and then lay down the black silhouettes, but to each their own. It looks pretty cool. Just watch that overspray, and I think you're onto something. Not so with another one. Awesome stuff. Not so again. Really nice vibes. Fen is doing some plagiar stencil making. Hopefully that's working out. Looks like some intricate stuff to cut out. So hopefully you have a sharp knife or a nice little heat tool to rock through that. Poured an arrow with some killer paintings. The Doctor, Pierre Chow with a nice blue planet. My boy Keith Davies with Hail of the Mountain King. This is my favorite one yet. Big stamp of approval on that one. And keep these coming, Keith. The Doctor again with a Rick and Morty scene. Love this bursting galaxy in the top left. Uh, like the stencil work that you got going on. Thanks for sharing. Pre with a really awesome, you know, style developing in all your work. Uh, I dig it a lot. Fen's got some spray mail. You're going to have to tell me what the name tags are for. I know your name. I don't know your real name. Like, I don't know how to say the whole thing, but I know. All right, D good. Let's address this. Your work is awesome. Please, please keep sharing it. I know I let you know in the comments. These videos are tight for time already. We're way far in, and you've submitted a lot of work this week. Uh, I think the community is loving checking it all out. Just a quick word of caution to a lot of you guys. Try to limit it to two, three you know, maybe four paintings a week. There's a lot of stuff to get through and I do want to include everyone. I want to dig into your art really bad and look at each one in depth and talk about it. In order for me to do that, uh, limit the amount you post a little bit. Uh, it's, not, it's not a problem if you're just getting it out there to share, but if you do want them to get in the videos, it's going to be harder to sneak in anything more than kind of four-ish paintings a week because uh, I want to explore these further. So if your stuff doesn't get featured this week, uh, give it a bit of time, keep paced out a little bit and repost in the future and I'll get you in there because uh, I really want to talk about your cool artwork. I think we got quite a few from D Good, so we're just going to, I'm trying to get them in. We're going to get them in. We're going to just go fast. The planets over top of the border is a killer, killer idea because a lot of us do this paneled uh, look and breaking that up almost breaks that fourth wall and it's really, really effective. I think it's noted somewhere you're doing the spray paint art secrets course, uh, which I've never had the peace of mind to actually sign up for and check out. I, maybe I'll do it, I don't know. I think there's some cool techniques in there. Cord and arrow, very cool stuff. I love these domes and giving that like light halo look. Lots of layers, lots of intricate detail going on on this painting. Bonks, my dude. Very cool painting, thanks so much. Cord and arrow, come on, this is killer. This is so, so good. Um, I see a lot of stuff in this style with the silhouette of a character, you know, a colorful image and then some Montana Crackle. You've done a really killer job, you know, breaking the mold of what that typically looks like. It looks like they're even on top of a planet. I bet you took your time with this one and it shows, so props to you and great work. D good. Artist Portico, first ever painting after watching your tutorial. Where'd you learn to do the palm tree? I can't do palm trees like that. Uh, I love it. Awesome stuff, and thank you for sharing, Artist Portico. D good with a glow and dark, glow and dark eye. There is the non-dark version of the same painting. D T Rex with a hot mountain and waterfall. A fellow Canadian from the other side of the country, over in Montreal. Uh, third attempt. Thanks for the content and your tutorials. Thank you for sharing. I really like your style. I want to see more, so please keep sharing your stuff. Fen recommending the acetone cap cleaner well guess what fen i took your advice and i bought some of this stuff and it does work quite well i would say my caps were a lot of them uh beyond repair and beyond saving but this stuff is going to help me keep fresh in the future uh so there's no no paid promotion because montana won't respond to my emails uh but check out this product montana product is worth checking out as well as rust-oleum uh, but i don't think they make something like this cap cleaner uh, so pick some up if you can it's helpful. Woo. It's canvas with kind of a angel and demon painting. I think this turned out great. And thank you again for your support. Make sure you guys go check out canvas spray art. Make sure you check out canvas's channel. It's going to be on the screen here and link down in the description below. Patrons unite. 
Happy paintball, awesome stuff. This gives me Porfirio Jimenez, lots of colors, lots of different vibes kind of feeling. And I think you're on to something with your style. So keep it up and keep sharing that good stuff. Keith Davies really working on these subtle, like foggy looks and, and playing with colors and just hinting that there might be a light source back there. Uh, man, I'm excited to keep watching the progress of your art because I am a big, big fan. The Midwest Monster coming in with a spr spray paint skateboard deck. Uh, really effective use. I'm curious how you did the planet stencils on the curve. Maybe it was just like a round piece of poster board, uh, but really stellar stuff. And always cool to see it not painted on a canvas or a poster board. Gordon Arrow, another vi vibrant busy and i mean that in a good way detailed scene d good with a killer marcus fusil recreation here jack submitting a painting he did last summer i know it's been tough and you haven't been able to paint man um, but hold on tight hopefully some warmer weather is coming your way you know hopefully things calm down so you can focus and be creative uh, and you mentioned that you're intimidated to keep sharing or, or maybe kind of you know, nervous seeing all the different submissions coming. You're one of the OG people following this channel and uh, your skill set is right up there too. So do not be shy. I assure you guys, this is not a competition every week. This is just sharing in an open-minded community so we can get better as artists together. So thank you so much for your support on Patreon, Jax. Keep your head up and uh, get painting whenever you can. In the meantime, see what else you can find that you've already done uh, and, and keep sharing it as it comes. Thanks so much, brother. D good. Very good. Ben with a birthday commission. These are always special when you're giving it as a gift. I think there's a reaction of the person receiving it and clearly they love it. Uh, thanks so much for sharing as always. Designs by Cord and Arrow. We have a bit of a Jack Skellington thing going on, man. Your vibrant tone is really prevalent in your style and I am a big fan. D Good with another, you know, some killer examples of a cityscape uh, and really cool Batman scene. So thanks for sharing. D Trex, DT Rex with a very cool ship saying it looks good from afar, but far from looking good. I disagree even when you zoom in. Uh, guys, no one's going to come up and put their eye against your painting. Only you were doing that to all of us. This looks awesome. Approved. Dirt Naps says they're just a few paintings in with not much artistic talent. I disagree. We're all artists and this is proof right here. Uh, again, guys, you should have seen my, my first dozen, 20, 30, 40 paintings. Uh, you guys are off to a way better start than I was. So keep smiling, keep confident because your stuff is just as killer. Uh, and it's only going to get better over time. Thanks for sharing one of your works. Fen doing some, uh, let me just put my head so I can see what you're posting here. Oh, cloud. <laughs> Fen doing some stencil work this week. Uh, if it's cold, Jack, same thing for you. Work on getting your, uh, your setup going. Do some things that are going to help you next time you're able to paint. I know Fen's been a bit busy with uh, with some extracurriculars as of late. Nibs with another painting, nice moves. Cool grass stencil. I love just looking at it and seeing how intricate it is. I think you put it into practice later on in one of these paintings, cool stuff. Uh, Pre with a really stellar, vibrant glow in the dark scene, playing around with some glow in the dark powders. I bought glow in the dark powder like two or three years ago. I have it, I've never really used it. Uh, so this maybe inspired me to give that a go. No, that's okay, buds. So this inspired me to maybe give it a go and show you guys my results in a future video. We'll see how that turns out. Pre, I love this one. Else to say, very vibrant, beautiful contrast, subtle vibes, approved. It's another glimpse at this glow in the dark. And here's a happy, happy person receiving a beautiful, unique gift. Uh, definitely thrilled with that. And that's an emotional thing to receive, especially, you know, coming from someone uh, important to you and seeing that they put the time and work into making something special. Uh, my mom, for example, like her wall looks like this because she's got a lot of my artwork. And I, I think it does actually mean a lot to her when she gets it. You can see that that's the case here. So congrats to the recipient of this beautiful painting. If you want to ship something my way, feel free. I think it's probably a long ways away. We're coming to the end of the video. We still got a few more at the start. I praised Jax for being a Patreon. You guys can all praise Jax now for this wonderful invention. It's the quick, the mix quick. It hooks up to an oscillating saw or a power tool and it's gonna save us all a lot of forearm agony. 
more time painting, I think Jack says, and less time mixing. Check out the subreddit, check out the link. I'm not affiliated, I don't think Jack's is either, but it's a helpful tool. Uh, so once I get my hands on one of these, I'll let you guys know where to find one. In the meantime, go check out the subreddit and Jax will tell you where to go. Keith Davies, this is your best week yet. I love the unique submissions. I don't think we have like a proper space scene in the whole bunch. You're trying a lot of different unique stuff and this is really effective, especially those eyelashes and the vibrance of that eyeball. Shambliss with a submission. They say their clouds look a little bit wonky. Um, I'm not really seeing wonky per se. I know a lot, like my recent cloud video, you gotta use a lot of transparency and a really light touch. Um, so try to find yourself some paints. You might have to take that step into Montana to get that really subtle kind of misty, excuse me, look. Um, but for what you're working with, it looks cool. It looks, you know, abstract and funky and a little bit psychedelic and I still very much like it. Um, just getting that subtle touch, you're going to need some subtle paints. Uh, so sometimes the, the investment in equipment can really help, you know, get what's going on in your mind onto the page. So check out some Montana Gold uh, neons. Those tend to be quite transparent and check out some Montana Gold transparents. Those go over white really well and uh, cool effect. Cord and Arrow, another submission. Quite a few from Cord and Arrow. I think we got to most of you guys' paintings. I did skip quite a few of D Goods because there was just so, so many. Uh, I do want to keep looking at your work, so please submit. Another unicorn from Fen. We got the grass stencil, stencil in action at the bottom there. And let's uh, let's wrap this video up this week with one more from D Good. He's uh, shooting us some info on the Pixel -a Loop app, which gives a bit of movement to your paintings. I think that vibes really well with uh, spray paint art. Full disclosure, I'm probably gonna try it out. I think it's cool, and I think it'd be a good thing to grab someone's eye on Instagram as they're you know, scrolling through the explorers section. Thanks again to all the patrons who support. Thank you all for submitting your beautiful works of art here on the Aristotle subreddit. If you guys want to be featured in a future video, it's as easy as submitting over on Reddit. Try to keep it to about four or five paintings a week to up your chance of getting them all featured in the video. Head on over to Patreon if you do want to be a supporter of this channel just beyond your continued support, which I do appreciate. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for enjoying. Thank you so much for all the kind words. And I'll see you guys again in a future spray paint art video. In the meantime, slap that like button and we'll see you next time.